trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. My name is Renee Garcia, guys, and this is Trans Surfing TV, y'all. And today, hacking the technogenic system. Oh my God, we've got a killer crew on this project. Please give your thanks and appreciation to them below. Mohil, Teodora, Bashir, and now Terza who is really fine tuning these and putting them in a PDF form so I can read them really easily. And we will also make the PDFs available on the Facebook group if you have interest in reading them or obtaining them for your pleasure. Please go onto the Facebook group and we will make these available. But yeah, thank you so much for everyone that is involved in doing this. I have not yet read this lesson yet. And I'm really excited because obviously I am a hardcore trans surfing junkie and <laughs> any new trans surfing knowledge, even if I don't necessarily understand it or if it's out of context, I'm like, bring it. So before I get started, remember to like this video, comment below and subscribe to this channel. Follow us on the Facebook group. Follow me on Instagram, reality underscore transurfing, and all the links below to the courses and all different kinds of stuff. Just check it all out. And please support us at Transurfing TV by engaging if you like this video. Okay, so let's go right into it because I'm super excited today to do this. Book name, Hacking the Technogenic System. Chapter three, I am capable of everything I choose. Hot dog. We now have in our hands four ways by which we can transform the sector of our world. One, the configuration file. Two, the beam of interest. Three, the data show. And four, the boomerang. Let us now look at specific examples of how the transformation actually occurs. Question. Is there any explanation for me specifically noticing cats for three consecutive days? The first time was when our neighbor's cat died in front of my eyes. The second time was the next day when a cat died in the movie that I was watching. It had been the first time that I had gone to the cinema in nearly a year. The third time happened on our neighbor's balcony on the fifth floor when there was a strange black cat wandering around screaming at the top of its lungs, and so on. In general, I observe that there is a lot of interconnectedness between these events and what I notice. In a more precise sense, I observe words, things, and actions being repeated, but I do not understand the significance of these observations. The issue is very simple. The sector of your world accumulates what you focus your attention on. In the beginning, you are like a satellite or receiver. You pick up a signal from the incoming stream of information, which if it gets your attention, you start broadcasting it. That is what makes the signal according to the sequence of inverse relationships stronger and stronger. From this, we can summarize this chapter through the following main points. One, your thoughts are more or less reflected in the world and are realized in the reality that surrounds you. Two, the soul and the mind are always united when the feeling is intense enough and as a result, a clear and accurate picture appears before the mirror. When the process takes place after that in an ascending line, whatever you focus your attention on, it fills the sector of your world, literally. Okay, this is why the wave of success happens the wave of fortune. This is why we experience induced transitions. This is why when something captivates you, you end up seeing it more and more and more. Like if you see a car that maybe you want to buy and then suddenly you see that car everywhere or 
as the example is here, seeing a cat in some sort of distress and then receiving that information, resonating with it, and then shooting out a broadcast that then attracts more of the same. As I always say, whatever you focus on exponentially appears in your environment. So if you're doing it in a negative way, you're caught in that vortex. If you're doing it in a positive way, you're sort of spiraling up and more and more positive and fortunate events, positive information and fortunate events start to exponentially increase. It's really, really powerful stuff. Three, the unsophisticated human mind does not believe that ideas are capable of forming the surrounding reality in this way by themselves. So it wants to copy everything from the perception that it chooses, right? Is it possible that I was the one who made these homeless people, neighbors, and beautiful people with my thoughts? No, of course not. These are all object objectively present. And all that I have done is that I hyper-focused my attention on them. And that is why their presence filled my mind. So this is, this is really transurfing in a nutshell. What you focus on is what you get. What you choose to see is what you, you, you invite to be in your layer of reality. You can either do this knowingly and unknowingly, like the person that focuses on all the negative, the homeless people, the dirty, you know, the dirty environment, the political unrest, whatever's going on. This is just, this is just a, a, a attached, you've attached yourself to this information therefore attracting more of it and you have literally made it your reality. So if you're doing this today, you can do, you can do the exact same thing just in the opposite direction and actually achieve some higher and better results, a higher lifeline just by switching what it is that you tend to focus on. It is extremely powerful for when something ceases to interest you, it disappears from your life completely and vice versa. It is sufficient for something to imprint in your mind so that it pursues you without stopping. Five, every human being has his own private sector, which is characterized by a degree of independence and exclusivity. However, all these sectors accumulate and intersect with one another such that each of them moves simultaneously and independently of the other, wherever the attention ray of its owner is drawn. Reality for everyone is the same as the table, but the maps on the table overlap with each other. As soon as the sector owner focuses his ray of attention on a specific thing, then the movement of his sector, his map, begins in the direction in which many such things accumulate. However, in reality, you cannot achieve all of these purposes on which your thoughts focus. It is the sector of your world going to that place where there are so many of them. I don't quite understand this personally, and maybe it's just because I'm focusing on reading it rather than understanding. So if somebody can break that down below for me, <laughs> that would be really appreciated. And of course, I'm gonna read it again after this, but um, yeah, I didn't quite understand that, but it sounds fascinating. <laughs> Six, we live in a dual world that consists of two components, physical, and metaphysical, so we should take both of these into consideration. Okay, so this one's easy, I get this one. There's the physical world, which is the materialization of a certain sector of the metaphysical world. Everything that's here now in the physical realm 
was once just an idea in the metaphysical realm. So if you want something that you currently don't have, you use the transcending concepts to pull it from the metaphysical realm into the physical realm. Seven, in addition to this, you do not live alone in this world because sectors of many people intersect in time and space. Therefore, you cannot completely isolate the sector of your world and build it free from the influence of external impurities. It is accepted that strange faults will always be present and you will not be saved from them. But most likely disasters and pandemics will not have a place in your world sector if you do not pay attention to such news. So for me personally, I suffered very, very little from the pandemic sim simply because I absolutely tuned it out. I got COVID in the very beginning, like even before the shutdowns occurred and I was sick for a while, like three weeks, I got over it. And then I realized that, you know, times were kind of changing <laughs> and people were going crazy and all sorts of things were happening. And I was just like, wait a second, I see myself, I see my reality. Use this as an opportunity to do your stuff and just tune out entirely. And I actually had a few occasions where I left my house and I completely forgot that we were even in a pandemic. And people were like, what the hell are you doing? And I, it, it, it dawned on me that I had excluded that version of reality from my layer and therefore I wasn't as affected by it as everyone else. In fact, I benefited because I took all the opportunities presented during those times and I used them to my benefit. And it was really, really an amazing time for both me and obviously the progress of reality transurfing. So where did I leave off? Eight, depending on the complexity of the system, we see that the reality of things is not the case. The behavior of reality is not subject due to determinism, but to probability. Again, comment below if you can break that one down. Sounds fascinating. Nine, didn't you yourself pay attention to the fact that transurfing does not contain laws, but only pr principles? So I've definitely noticed that. And anytime, anytime somebody sa said something to me along the lines of, that's not transurfing, Renee. I'm like, dude, there are no laws in transurfing. There are only principles. You will either benefit from those principles or you will be smacked down by those principles, <laughs> but there are no actual laws. It's kind of like anything's game. You're either gonna ride that wave in using the principles or balancing forces is gonna come in and wreck you because of those principles, but there's no actual laws. So this is, you know, this is really a uh, very liberating idea if you want to take advantage of that. And I'm sure a couple of you watching may catch my drift there. Okay, so 10. What you resist usually seizes your thoughts and thus fills the sector of your world and overflows. What is required is the opposite. That is to accept what arouses your anger out of knowledge of the thing only and thus pass it and remove your attention from it and say goodbye to it. And when you leave this alone, it in turn leaves you alone. So <laughs> personal, personal um, realization I had on this one with all the people that have been hating on me in the last couple of months and me seeing these screenshots from different groups where they're like, oh my God, I hate Renee Garcia <laughs> in transurfing groups, right? And I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome because I'm going to pop up in their feeds and in their stuff more and more and more. 
the best thing to do when something irritates you, when something angers you, when something disgusts you, is to turn away from it. Do not feed it any energy, because if you feed it energy, <laughs> it's going to, it's gonna be right up in your shit. <laughs> so, hello, <laughs> if there's any haters that this is, uh, <laughs> coming into any haters feed. I'm sure you haven't made it this far, but if you have, welcome and thank you for watching my video. <laughs> okay, 11. In persistence lies the whole secret. Because the mirror does not work continuously, but periodically interrupts its work from time to time, so the stable reality is not formed by efforts exerted once, but by continued perseverance and by the pattern of thinking. So I experience this all the time with this project. There are times that I get really discouraged. My mirror isn't showing me the exact image that I wanna see, but it doesn't mean that I let it affect me. I continue on with my thinking, I persevere, and I take continued action and I don't stop. Because yes, the mirror sometimes does sort of, uh, you know, have this unstable image. But if you accept that and go into endeavors knowing that is how the mirror operates, then any time that the mirror isn't showing you the image that you want to see, you know that it's only a matter of time until it will again. And again, this is extremely powerful for continued action towards your goal. 12. Everything here is very simple. Constancy and regularity of thoughts and actions. However, people are accustomed to not working regularly as enthusiasm quickly builds in them and then it cools down as quickly. This leads to the appearance of a series of black spots on the page of their lives, interspersed at times by occasional jumps. Okay, so all this means is, and I've been this person, and I'm sure you've been this person, where you're just kind of like hot and heavy on something, you go in kind of hard, you see something you don't wanna see, or you become discouraged, and then you jump up off the thing, and then you do something else, and the same thing happens, and you kind of bounce around, and you never really, succeed in any endeavor because you're not giving it enough time and perseverance and you're allowing yourself to become discouraged and then you base your actions or lack thereof on you being discouraged or not seeing what it is that you wanna see. So being regular and constant and not giving up and just continuing in thoughts and actions towards that goal, this is absolutely ideal. 13, after this, try to make some effort to transform the principle of coordination of intention along with the technique of transforming reality. This becomes the configuration file, the beam of interest, the data show, and the boomerang into your life and into a pattern of your thoughts and perception. Then the day will come when you say to yourself, I am capable of everything I choose. So quickly, the configuration file, this is, this is what you have configured, I believe, into what you need to, what you need to fulfill in order for you to reach your destination, if I am correct. The beam of interest, this is you narrowing your focus to that specific intention or goal and excluding other things that are not going to assist you towards that intention or that goal. The data show, not sure what that is, but the boomerang, obviously, what you throw out is what you get back. So if you want something, make certain that you are throwing out the frequency, action, and your thoughts in a way that is going to help you with returning that boomerang back to you with more of the same. This is very, very powerful. 14, the sector of your world accumulates what you focus your attention on. Duh. 15, your thoughts obsess over what you are not eager to obsess, uh, to accept, sorry. Your thoughts obsess over what you are not eager to accept. 
Okay, so this is classically focusing on what you don't want, what you don't like, what isn't working, what is going wrong, instead of you doing what is necessary to help you really gain momentum, focus on what is working, what is right, what is going right, what you have to help you, what you can do, all that positive stuff and throwing everything else out. Um, 16, the sector of your world moves to where it is attracted by your ray of attention. The sector of your world moves to where it is attracted by your ray of attention. 17, you are able to play a role in any play regardless of its set. Okay, so this is really powerful also. You start playing the role of whatever it is, imitating action, whatever it is you want to be, have, or do, you start playing the role that you feel is that future or higher version of yourself obtaining that thing that you want to have, being that person, doing that thing, whatever, and then the set and decorations in your life will start to transform and before you know it, you're actually living that reality. That is what I am doing right now. Okay, 18, at the same time, not everything is determined by ideas alone because the structure of the world is dual and because the world sectors of different people can intersect. This is really about um, your intentions coming up against another person's intentions. Hi, Vadim Zeeland. <laughs> Sometimes people don't see things eye to eye. You must do what you need to do in this scenario for you to continue on your path. You can get caught up in these intersections of intentions and become lost or manipulated or taken off course. So making certain that you are staying the course to your intentions regardless of the intentions of the other people you are encountering, powerful, super, super, super powerful. Um, 19, the firm, stable reality is not formed by one-time efforts, but by continued persistence and pattern of thinking. Okay, we know this. This is like, this is Transurfing 101. Keep it going, don't stop, continued action, continue thinking in that direction of that version of yourself, that version of reality you want to experience, that thing you want to be, that thing you want to do, that thing you want to have, continued persistence and pattern of thinking. We will then address based on specific real world examples the typical issues that arise during the process of creating your own world or creating your world. I guess that'll be the next lesson, so stay tuned for that one. And we're gonna to start to crank these out now, guys. We're gonna run through all of them and thank you again, all of you that are helping make this possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed this hacking the technogenic system lesson. And